ready to finish like a beast around the rim? Today I'm going to show you five things that all the best finishers around the rim in the game do, how you can quickly add them to your game, exactly what you need to do, and the easiest way to put them in your game. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to have a way for you to take your finishing around the rim bonkers next level. I'm going to link you to another video that's going to show you some advanced finishes around the rim. Coach Jesse Minshew with Get Handles Basketball, where we train harder and smarter so you can play like the pros. If that's something you're looking to do, make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon so you can catch the newest videos. Let's jump into these secrets. The best finishers in the game, before they even think about getting that layup off, there's something that they're going to do that sets them up for success. And it's something that I see almost all players don't do that they should be doing. It'll make all your layups a lot easier. And it's actually pretty simple. It's to create contact with that defender. If you don't create contact, your defender can jump right with you and contest the shot. They can continue to move with you and now they're in control. Or they could create contact with you and now that puts you off balance as you're about to go into that shot. Neither of those scenarios is something we're looking to do. So you always want to be in control and be the one to initiate contact first. Typically, I would say use either your off arm or your shoulder and pay attention to the angle that you're taking. You don't want to run right into them, obviously. You're going to get called for an offensive foul. You want to come just around the angle where you can kind of come to the side of them, about to the edge of their hips, and then from there create contact either with their hips or with their chest. That's going to be a great way to get them off balance. So that way, when you go up for the shot, they're not going to be able to jump as strongly or as powerfully, or if they do, they're probably going to be moving back this way, so it's going to take them a second to recover, or they'll be jumping in the wrong direction. That instantly creates a lot of separation. Click that like button if that first tip helped you. The next thing that the best finishers around the rim do is they'll protect the basketball in a couple of different ways. I see a lot of players, when they go to the hoop, they don't really protect the basketball very well or keep it away from the defender. And what ends up happening then from there is as you're about to go for the layup, boom, defender will knock it away because you're not being strong with your grip or it'll make it so you're kind of bobbling it and now you don't get a very good shot off. None of those scenarios will work out very good for you. At the end of the video, I'm actually going to link you to a video that's going to show you the different ways that you can protect the basketball on your two steps so you don't get it stripped. Don't get your shot deterred, all that stuff. You either want to make sure you're keeping the ball away from them so it's out of their reach. Or number two, just being strong with the basketball, getting both hands on it, getting two points of contact. But you have to do something so you can take that contact and if they swipe at the basketball, you still got the ball, they're not gonna deter the shot and you can still get a good clean shot off at the basket. Leave me a comment, let me know who you think's better at creating contact and protecting the basketball with their layups. John Wall or Chris Paul? The next big thing that all the best finishers in the game do that you need to add to your game is being able to finish, so we're talking about the actual layups now, in a variety of different arm positions and angles. So what I mean by that is, when you come to your defender, you have to have options for being able to finish in different areas. I see a lot of players that all they can do is shoot their layups this way, or maybe only this way, or maybe those two. That's a problem. That's not bad for when you're getting started, but if you want to be an elite finisher around the rim, you need to have a lot more options. Because if I can only finish here, again, that makes me predictable. My defender can easily block that shot. They know exactly where it's going to go. They can jump in front of me. The ball's more exposed, all that stuff, right? My best bet then is to just beat them to the hoop, which sometimes that is your best option, but it's not always your best option. You want to work on your ability to also finish out wide with this hand. Maybe coming further across so then you can go into a, a goofy hand reverse layup. You want to work on your ability to finish maybe with two hands so you can be strong with the finish. So now, if my defender goes for the shot and I have it over here, how is he getting to it? He's not, right? If you want to master more of these, again, I'm going to have one other video, I'm going to have three links for you at the end, that's going to show you how to master the main different types of layups and the different arm positions you'll want to get down with that. Next thing all the pros have that you need to get in your game is the ability to finish in all areas around the backboard. Finishing there, finishing up there, finishing up there, finishing tight.
Getting all those different finishes is a must because if you don't have that, again, when you go up for your layup, it makes it predictable exactly where you're going to finish and defenders are just going to keep blocking it because they'll know where you're going to do the layup. So you got to be able to get your ability to finish in these different areas around the backboard, also going straight to the rim, right? Maybe finishing high with a floater to get a little extra arc on the shot. But that's an absolute must because if you don't have that, you're going to miss out on options. Maybe you feel like you have to rush your shot off to get to the basket quick because your defender is going to block it. None of those are good feelings, none of those are good scenarios, and none of those really end up in you making more shots around the rim. So one thing you'll want to do to develop this is working on ball spin. Putting spin on to finish more to the sides of the backboard. I'm going to have one final video, four videos linked for you at the end. It's Kyrie Irving ball spin layups and it's going to show you how to finish like that. You'll also learn how to do some kind of weird types of spins. And finish in all areas around the backboard, that's going to go really in depth and give you some simple drills you can do to develop this. But just knowing that you need to work on it and going out here and working on these sorts of things is enough to really help you improve quickly. And finally, all the best finishers in the game, they're able to finish with different body positions. And what I mean by that is the angle of your body, but also what your legs are doing, all that stuff. They have a very good awareness of how to use their entire body while they're finishing the layup to get the shot off more unpredictably, keep the ball protected, give themselves some more space for the shot, all that stuff. If you don't have that ability, again, you're just gonna end up with these types of layups, which as we know, those can get swatted pretty easy. Example would be, instead of coming here, just turning my body sideways, now the ball's protected. Some guys will even work on coming all the way backwards. Now you might think that's kind of flashy, some coaches might consider it that, but if it's something you've mastered and you can get it down and your coach is okay with it, that's something I would highly recommend you work on. That could also amount to creating contact and then turning in more, so that way you're creating contact with the defender behind you to get to the basket in front of you. You could also use this with your body facing away from the basket for your reverse layups or having your body facing more this way. All those things are things you're gonna need in your game because they're gonna give you different options depending on where your defender is. Simple tip I can give you to make sure you're doing this right though is always think about, just like when you're dribbling the basketball, defender, body, basketball. You want things in that order so that way you know the ball is protected. Defender, body, basketball. Here, defender, body, basketball. If I'm doing that, I know I have a much better chance of getting that shot off cleanly without having to worry about them blocking and I can just focus on where I'm aiming on the rim. It's go time for those four videos I told you I was gonna link you at the end. This one's gonna help you with finishing with different arm positions around your body for your basic layup. This one's gonna help you with that Kyrie Irving ball spin type of layup. This one's gonna help you with protecting the basketball on your two steps so you don't get it stolen or stripped. And this one is the one that's gonna work on the advanced finishes. Click that like button, subscribe, and click the bell icon to catch the newest video and I'll see you in one of these videos next and if you really want to master your finishing you'll check out all of them.